Hey everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we are a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota and we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. Now this video is going to have a little bit of a different theme than what our videos normally do. Normally we're just advertising all the various services that we offer, but this video is actually going to get into the screen lock security settings on recent Samsung devices. Specifically those have been, uh, that have been released in this year, 2019, and the same thing will probably apply for new devices going forward. We've noticed something that has changed dramatically in the way that Samsung uh, has the screen lock settings enabled and how to do a reset if you don't know the screen lock is specifically what this is going to uh, entail and refer to. So here with us today we have a Samsung Galaxy A20. So this is a device that was released a couple months ago here in the US and there are several different wireless carriers that sell it. Now this device does have a screen lock on it here because if we swipe it up it'll tell us to enter our PIN number. But we're contacted every day by people who either have changed their screen lock and then forgot it, or their kids were playing with their phone and they added one and they don't know what it is, or whatever the situation may be. We're contacted by tons of people who have forgotten their lock or don't know it and are looking to get back in. And we can do that for a lot of people in a lot of situations, but this is going to specifically refer to if you just want to do a factory reset to the phone to delete all the data. Most people want to save the data that's on their phone, but if you're someone who just wants to erase it or you don't have a lot of data, you don't care about it, then this is what we're getting at here. Samsung has changed everything that goes on here recently, so we wanted to show people how that process is done so that they do have a reference guide to work from. Now, back in Android 7, a couple years ago, Samsung made a change to where you cannot power the phone off without typing in the screen lock. Previously, you just could power it off and then it was easy to use the button combinations to get to the Android system recovery screen where you do the factory reset from. But a couple years ago, Samsung changed that. So now, if you tap power off and then tap it again, it asks you for the pin to turn off the phone. And again, that has existed ever since Android 7. But fast forward a couple years, and Samsung has now, with Android 9 and new devices, extended that to the restart button also. Previously, the easiest way to get to the, the Android system recovery screen was just to tap the restart button instead and then do the button combination. Now, Samsung has even taken that option away because if you do the restart instead, you'll get the same message enter the pin to turn off the phone. So Samsung doesn't even let you restart the device without the screen lock now. So that can make it a little trickier to get to the system recovery page to do the reset. So on this specific device, we're gonna demonstrate the way to get there. This device only has three buttons. They're all on the right edge of the phone. So we have volume up, volume down, and power from top to bottom. So actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold all three buttons together at the same time one, two, three. And I'm gonna hold all three of those and it takes maybe five to six seconds of holding them and then it's gonna come up at an aqua colored screen. Okay, there we go. So it gives a warning and then it talks about some other software things here. Now, in this, uh, in this screen, volume up is to continue to what is called the firmware flashing mode or it says that volume down is just to cancel and restart the phone. So we're kind of using this mode as the intermediary to get the phone to restart so that we can get to the Android system recovery page. On this phone, the way to get there is by holding volume up and power together at the same time, but we have to do it while the phone is powered off. So basically we have to catch the phone between this screen and when it starts turning back on. So what we're gonna do is click volume down to restart the phone and then very quickly as fast as we can we're going to switch to holding volume up and power together at the same time to go to the recovery screen so i'm going to demonstrate that here really quick because we only have maybe a second or two between the screens changing so we're going to volume down to restart it and then very quickly switch to volume up and power together at the same time before the galaxy a20 screen hits if you miss it and that screen hits first, then the device will start up normally and you'll have to try it again all over. Okay, so the process is pretty quick there. We're now in the Android system recovery screen, and then we have all the options here for doing the factory reset, etc. I should mention, <clears throat> 
if you currently have a Google account on the phone, you will get a warning that the Google account lock will be enabled if you proceed with the factory reset. And you will need the email and the password of, the, of that account that's currently on the phone in order to do that. Now, I'm not actually going to reset the phone. I'm just going to restart it because there's actually something else that we wanted to point out in the settings. But that is how you would get to the recovery screen to do the factory reset. You just scroll down to the option that says wipe data factory reset, select it with power, and then it'll make you scroll again and uh, select the option that says yes. And that would erase all the data from the phone, including the screen lock. But Samsung, along with the bad change, has also instituted kind of a good change in the screen lock department. They now appear to be offering you the option to be able to remotely unlock the phone through your Samsung account if you have forgotten the screen lock or don't know what it is. Up until now, neither Samsung nor Google have allowed you to do that. They have allowed you to remotely add a screen lock to the device if you didn't have one previously, if you lost the phone, got it stolen, whatever but they have not allowed you to remotely unlock it if you didn't if there was a screen lock on the device but you didn't know what it is. I'm going to show you what the pop-up looks like here in just a second. So I have to take off my existing lock and then go back to add another one to get it to show. So if you have done the factory reset to the phone and you're setting it up now again or if you're setting up the phone for the first time if basis so basically if the device did not already have a screen lock on it after you add the lock you will see a notification here at the bottom that asks if you want to back up your screen lock and basically if you agree here this will take you on the next page it'll take you to either sign in to a Samsung account or to create a new one if you don't have one already and so with the wording on the screen here it looks like Samsung is allowing you to remotely Again, unlock the phone if you have forgotten your screen lock or if you don't remember it or whatever the case may be. So we would highly recommend doing that option for anyone just in case a day comes when you don't know the lock. You'll be able to log into your Samsung account via computer and there should be an option there to remotely unlock it. So that is a little bit about how the screen lock system works on the Galaxy A20 and then again showing you here the specific model that we're working with here this is the A205U. Now, like I said, this screen lock, this new screen lock procedure probably applies to all of Samsung's new devices that they're coming out with, but button configurations will vary from phone to phone. This also applies to the S10 series, for example, but those devices have a big speed button on the side in addition to the volume and the power. So on those ones, the setup changes a little bit. So down the road, we'll try to make different videos for the different models that have the screen locks. So, thanks for watching here today, and hopefully it helps you if you find yourself in a situation where you need to factory reset the A20 without doing a screen lock. While you're here, make sure to check out all the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. While you're here, also hit that subscribe button to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.